I think, first of all, the, the, the etiquette is you're expected to bring the idea in. That doesn't mean to say you're the one who's going to... That, that, that idea is going to be written, but you should be prepared to try and come with some what you think are some great ideas and some directions that those ideas could go in. And then then it's just a natural thing of whether the writer you're writing up with goes, hmm, give me something else. You know, and you just keep going till you find an idea. And I've, I've written with it writers where they've said, well, what about this? I've got an idea. I mean, I wrote with Roger Cook once, frightened the life out of me. I got to his house and it was like, Lorna, come in, I've got this idea. And he sat and he played a melody on the piano. And I, at that point, had never written to a melody. And I'm going, you know what, God, if you've got some words, could I have them now? Because he's, and I'm trying to, I was trying to learn the melody, find some words that fit, that rhymed, that made sense, that didn't suck, and that didn't make me look like a total idiot. And there was a lot of pressure. Um, and Roger's just the nicest, nicest guy. And it was, it was, uh, it was fun in the end. And in the end, we wrote two songs in like three days. Um, but yeah, I think the, the aim is that you come in with ideas and angles, um, try and find something that's, if, if you, there's not that many new ideas, but you've got to come up with a fresh angle on, on how you write it. And then I, I think just, just be yourself, just try and be yourself and just try and be relaxed. It's sometimes hard. I mean, if I thought I was going to be writing with some of my writing heroes, um, I, I think that's a lot harder, it's more pressure. And I actually did, I, wrote, I got to write with Billy Dean. I told him once he was my dream co-write. And I actually managed to, I got to write with him through Danny Rivera of, of uh, Rio Grande and Curb, because we'd been writing and they have the same manager. Um, and you'd have to ask Billy, but I think I, I, think I, was, I was okay. I think I, I contributed without being too frightened to say anything. Um, but Brian White says, you dare to suck. And, and um, uh, somebody was telling me once that this, he was writing with a hit writer who made a whole big issue of closing the door and then said, just check the doors closed, son. And he said, I was thinking, oh my God, what's going on? And he said, then the hit writer said, you know, now, I'm going to say something stupid and you're going to think I'm stupid, but you're going to say something and it's going to be less stupid. And then I'm going to say something that's pretty good and then you're going to say something that's even better. I'm going to say something that's really good and you're going to say something that's great and we've got our line. But he said, if we just both sit here watching each other, we're not going to get to that point. So he said, just throw it out, whether, it's, whether you think it's totally stupid or not. So my defence now is, I go, well, I'm not sure if this is the actual line, because I don't want people to think that I suck. So if I say, how about this? And they go, seriously? OK, never write with her again. So now I say, well, what if it was something like this? I mean, I'm, this, this may not be the line, but, you know. And if somebody else says something that I think... Uh, I don't think so. I'll go, yeah, that's pretty good, but can we get something? I think we can beat that. So I think there's, there's, there's ways to... I mean, because you're not going to tell a hit writer that line sucks, because it may not for a start, and it may be just different enough that it's going to be the money line. But I think you, the way to say it is, yeah, that's pretty good. Let, let, or even if you're not sure, I mean, I've, I've had said in sessions before, let's leave that where it is and we can come back to it. Because you can, you can rewrite forever. Somebody asked me when you stop rewriting a song, I went, well, when you're dead, you know, because that's about it, really. But other than that, you can always rewrite a song, rewrite an idea. I've got two songs with the same title, just totally different songs. I've got several songs with the same idea because I just never could nail the idea. And, you know, so it, it's, it's anything and everything. But I think with, it, with a hit writer, just... Be respectful, you know, if, if you don't want to write with them, if you don't think you're going to enjoy it, you don't need to. Nobody needs to do anything they don't want to do.